Aristotle. Um, the poem I wanted to do today was a very important poem that I wrote about, I think, two years ago. You might have heard it before, but it's possibly my most favorite poem because it sums up like the reality of life into like a small six minutes. Um, it's called The Meaning of Life. You've probably heard it before, but nevertheless, lend me your ears and inshallah you can all benefit from this. What are we doing here and where are we going to go? It's like we just woke up one morning and it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see off the TV from the hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often. Just do exactly as you're told. You ever get confused and just turn towards the alcohol? You still hear your thoughts? Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just really need to know. Is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own? I just really need to know before the casket's closed because I'm not ready to gamble with my soul nor am I willing to take any chances. These are life's simple questions and I'm just searching for some answers. Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here and who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go or is this world all really worth it? Questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to. There's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural. Then in that case, please let me ask you, did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Because you're a being that's impeccable, faultless and unparalleled. You're a product of supreme intelligence and I'm merely being rational. For there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind. And if the whole world was to come together, we wouldn't be able to create a single fly. So many signs, yet we still deny. The science tries to justify that all this could come from none when it's a simple sum. Zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one. So from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you probably watched this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, the creator of the universe along with every single soul. The ever-living, the master, the only one who is in control. Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination and no is not a man, nor does he have any partners in association, is on his own. And no, he did not ever leave us alone. Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being, it's logical. A book with zero contradictions and miracles that are both scientific and historical, like the detailed description of the human embryo. The mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below. The two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. The planets in orbit alternating night and day as they stay in flow. To the expansion of the universe, and the creation from everything from H to O, to the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh, to identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome. And now the word is changed, it's still the same, so please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago. To a man who couldn't read nor write, as he would simply recite whatever the angel spoke. And if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't. So we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. 
dismiss the scriptures as tales and legends of the ancient folk as we live life according to our whims, desires, and hopes, saying this life is the only home we will ever know. We will live, then die, then simply turn to bones. Yo, lo, correction. After the grass dies, the rain arrives and it regrows. Then Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul. As the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close and we are surely being tested. In our wealth, our health, our self and everything that we've been blessed with. So believe for we will surely be resurrected. And we go back to our Lord and account for every single deed. As he hands us our books and orders us to read, from the bad to the good and everything in between, you yourself are sufficient for your own accountability, so don't be mad at me, your Lord says. You were the one who thought you wouldn't come back to me. I gave you a whole life long to search after me, but you were busy chasing after all that which was temporary, so read. And glad tidings to all those who believe. But if you disbelieve, read. And don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Thank you very much. I hope you guys join us.